clearly as a possible candidate for Speaker of the House. He said he might even try it, knowing that uh, the, the chances of unseating an incumbent Speaker are, are uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of slim and none, but that he might try it nonetheless. I believe we have some other uh, results, none of, them, none of them final, not quite yet, I guess, on the Ada County results, and we'll run through those. As I said a number of times throughout the evening, we'd hoped uh, to entice Congressman George Hansen in for a conversation tonight, but I am told that he still uh, remains a little reluctant about, uh, about saying one thing or another about his race at this point, although it seems fairly uh, clear to us that he is uh, in rather comfortable position tonight in uh, terms of his race in the second congressional district against Dan Adamson. The numbers have held pretty firm throughout uh, most of this evening. Uh, the last numbers we have, 52 to 48, uh, Hansen over Adamson, and all but just uh, a sprinkling of votes now in in that particular race. Um, the congressman, uh, should, should something not change uh, throughout the rest of this evening, uh, will go on to face uh, Richard Stallings in, uh, in November. Now, some uh, updates on legislative races in Ada County. Uh, the Deckard-Winchester race. This is where two incumbents sure. have been thrown together. And it looks like uh, Lyman Winchester, the conservative of this group, is out in front and has been throughout the evening. Although the uh, percentage has uh, tightened up a little bit from the last time we reported this race, this is with 58% of the vote now counted. Elsewhere in Ada County, uh, Brown, this is a Democratic race in District 14 with the winner here to meet the winner of the Deckard-Winchester race in November, and Brown uh, would appear at this point uh, to be moving ahead after trailing earlier in the evening. This is with 58 percent also counted. The House Race A in District 16, uh, Emerson Smock would appear to be the winner there with 60 percent of the vote. Jim Golder, uh, a several-term incumbent, announced uh, just a couple of weeks ago that he was withdrawing from the race. And uh, frankly, no one has heard uh, hide nor hair from him since that time. Uh, a number of reporters I know have tried to contact him, and so have Republican Party officials, and I don't know whether he's even in the country, and no one seems to know. The Hooper-Donahue race that we've reported on, uh, Chris Hooper in front there, 57 to 43 uh, percent. House District 17, the, ra uh, the B seat, 58 percent of the vote is in there, and Harry Stone has a 58 percent uh, margin there. That's up slightly from when we last reported on that race. And District 18, House Seat A in the Republican primary, Bayer is the, apparently going to be the winner there. Uh, House Seat A, District 19, Mary Henson is going to be the winner there with 70 percent of the vote. That's for the dist uh, Democratic nomination. In the uh, Senate race in District 20, this is uh, one of the more co hotly contested Democratic primary races in Ada County. Darrell Salaz, a former member of the House, would appear to be on his way to winning the Democratic nomination there over Steve Hamilton, a uh, member of the Boise Fire Department and a, a union activist. In the House District 21 race, this is for the big flotarial district in Ada County, and it would appear that Boyd Hill who has identified himself as a conservative, uh, opposed to tax increases, among other things, has defeated Dean Chatburn for that particular race. Uh, no terrible surprises there, I guess. Uh, the Ada County, uh, I don't know what we can say about this floaterial district that includes all of Ada County, except that uh, um, Jim Risch announced for it, uh, and uh, Mr. Chatburn, uh, I think it's fair to say, had the support of a lot of teachers because he's a member of the, of the uh, local school administration. Uh, but uh, in that particular race, the conservative Republican seems to have won. Mm -hmm. I think that's true. Any comment there, Governor Anders? No. Uh, that. Uh Personalities involved have a great deal to do with it. It's been said earlier, and I think was said uh, by Al from up north. And in this case, uh, it clearly did. Uh, also, I, I think if you look at the amount of money spent, as I look at the signs and everything around the city, that uh, you might look at those two budgets and get an indication there also. We have some results, I believe, now from uh, a number of races in eastern Idaho. These are mostly finals now, and they are legislative races, and uh, we'll go to them in just a second. Uh, well, 
I'm sorry, we don't have the numbers up, but I'll go just through quickly through them. In the Senate uh, District 26 race, this is a Republican. Jerry Twiggs has won that one uh, by about 60% of the vote. Uh, in District 26, the House race, District, uh, the B race for the Republican Party, Simpson has won that one over Christensen. We reported the Biceline Ferguson race earlier, Beverly Biceline winning that one easily with 66% of the vote. Ray Infanger has won renomination in the Democratic primary, or in the Republican primary, I should say, in District 30. That's a new district including five big eastern Idaho counties. Infanger winning easily over Salmon Insurance Agent Ed Smith, 61 to 39 percent of the vote there. A final is now in in the District 31 race in. Uh, this is in Madison and Jefferson counties. This is the Democratic four-way primary we talked about earlier in the evening, and it looks like Kershaw has won that race with 30 percent of the vote over um, Keith Larson's 28 percent and uh, Daryl Moss 25 percent of the vote there in that particular race. One of the uh, winning Democratic candidates in Ada County tonight, apparent winners, uh, Daryl Salaz is with us. Mr. Salaz is uh, apparently the victor in uh, in District 20, one of the, the new districts created by uh, legislative reapportionment. Uh, that was one of, the, one of the races the Democrats have, uh, have watched fairly closely in Ada County. Uh, are you ready to declare yourself the winner here tonight, Mr. Salas? Well, Salazar? I'm not ready to declare myself the winner, but uh, <laughs> you can be sure that it's a lot more fun to be ahead than it is to be behind. Okay. Uh, any particular uh, reason that uh, you did as well as you did? Well, apparently. I think the uh, difference is that uh, I had uh, more volunteers and more help from my friends, and we ran a door-to-door -door campaign, grassroots campaign, worked very hard, and so did my opponent. So uh, I'm very gratified at this point uh, to be ahead, and I appreciate all the help that I've gotten. This is said by some to be a marginally Democratic district, or at least a Democrat, uh, district where a Democrat in Ada County could possibly win. Do you see it that way? Uh, you can be sure that uh, I believe I can win this race or I wouldn't have embarked upon this uh, primary. And I believe that uh, that is correct. I think that uh, the majority of voters in Idaho will uh, not uh, go party line in either party, but are uh, moderates and are willing to listen to the issues and the candidates. And I believe you're correct. I think there's a real opportunity there for a Democratic candidate in this new District 20. Well, it's uh, frequently said that district, what used to be District 17 with some modifications is now District 19 in the north end and north and east end of Boise it tends to be a Democratic district and some believe that this district might be Democratic too. Uh, we appreciate your coming in tonight and staying up so late and I'm sure you'll stay up a little later to see how those numbers uh, come Yes, up. sir. You can be sure of that. Okay. Thank, thank you, you very much. We're going to take one final look now at the, uh, at the statewide numbers that we have, as we have them now, and the gap continues to narrow in the Hanson-Adamson race. Uh, 51 to 49 percent of uh, the vote for George Hanson. Again, this reflects the trickling in of the vote apparently in Ada County tonight where Hanson had conceded that he probably wouldn't do very well and Adamson knew he had to do very well in order to win. And this, uh, again, is with about 90 percent of the vote now counted. And I'm not uh, still sure that that's enough to, uh, to make much of a difference. Any, okay. any disagreement there, uh, Governor Anders? No. I would, I would say that there, there's just not enough votes left to split up to, no. to make any change in it. Okay. And the, the percentages are all ruin it. The, trends, right. uh, the trend is held so strongly throughout the evening, it's really not very, very, very much from no. that 53 or 52 percent. Uh, these are the latest uh, figures now we have in the uh, presidential uh, primary, and uh, nothing no change. much changes there. Hart 59, Mondale 29. This is with 86 percent of the Democratic vote counted there. Uh, Jesse Jackson getting 6 percent of the vote in Idaho. The U.S. Senate race, this is with 86 percent of the vote now counted, and Pete Bush has been the easy winner there tonight and is already talking about uh, what he needs to do to mount an effective campaign against. Jim McClure in November. So I guess um, perhaps the major legislative upset tonight occurred in Kootenai County where a Republican incumbent, Bill Moore, was defeated by uh, Dennis Carlson in a race that pitted a moderate Republican against a conservative and in that case at least the moderate has won. 
Uh, any final thoughts from you gentlemen tonight? It's been wonderful having you here and uh, staying up so late under these hot lights to add uh, all of this political perspective. It's been fun for me. Mark, now I know what you go through. You could just about wring this suit out, I believe. <laughs> but uh, no, I've enjoyed it. Uh, we have stayed up late. I'm sorry that uh, Congressman Hansen was not able to come on and, and visit with you because I think the people across the state uh, were expecting that. But uh, no, I, I've enjoyed it, but it is past my bedtime. Governor Smiley, we appreciate your being here tonight, thank too. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you, you so much. Uh, that's our time for tonight. and We've gone a little later than we thought we would have to to bring you some of the uh, final results tonight, but we're glad uh, for those of you who have stayed with us this late. We appreciate it. And I'm Mark Johnson reporting from Idaho Public Television's election headquarters in Boise. Good morning. The funding for this program is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and the Friends of 4, 10, and 12.